Hello scientists, welcome to Drop My Mat, the scientific illustration channel for scientists. In this video, we will be drawing Calcium Channel in Inkscape. And I have another one that I've drawn it in Adobe Illustrator. So if you use Illustrator, you can use that tutorial. And uh, before we get into it, please give it a like and also subscribe to Drop My Mat for more of these uh, scientific illustration content. And so without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So here are the calcium channels that we're going to draw today. Uh, you see that I've already prepared the example for you. And uh, if you want to learn how to draw that uh, cell membrane, you can also check out that video. Well, first, we need to turn on the grids on our canvas. So let's go to the view and turn on the page grid. And now we have these grids to help us to uh, allocate the where the shapes should be. And also that can make everything very structured. So first, let's get our circle tool and draw a perfect circle. And then you see that uh, I'm fitting it exactly to the grids. And let's have it uh, eight grids wide. And then uh, let's grab our rectangle tool and then we draw a rectangle. And the rectangle, or the width of the rectangle needs to be slightly uh, bigger than the, the radius of the circle. Now we need to unite these two objects into one shape. And before doing that, we need to convert them into path. So let's select both of them and go to path and click on this object to path. And so now when you double click on it, you see that uh, you have the anchor points on the epoch of the paths. And now you are able to unite them. So let's go to path and unite. And you see that they have become one shape. Um, so we can uh, and I will clean up the anchor points a little bit. So uh, usually here uh, there will be an, uh, an extra anchor point. So uh, I will just remove that. That can help us to have our shapes very smooth. So now we will start to smoothen in our uh, anchor points. Uh, let's select the anchor points and then come here to click on this make selected anchor point smooth. Uh, you see that uh, immediately it has smoothened up the path for you. And then uh, we can uh, start to do some adjustments on the uh, on the handles and especially at the uh, lower side. So let's uh, manipulate the handles like so. And so you will be able you will be able to have that pointy end uh, on the intracellular side. Now we have the calcium channel. We can simply make a copy of it and then uh, flip it horizontally, then you, will also, then you will also get the other side. Let's align these two shapes uh, vertically, and then uh, we will start to create the inner part of the channel. Let's grab our circle tool and create an ellipse. Let's move the shape to the back, and then uh, let's do some, I'll make it a little bit narrower so the uh, sides can cover it completely. And that's, then we can start to uh, make the lower part of the inner uh, part of the channel. So let's grab our Bizier tool and then uh, just uh, quickly use the grid to, uh, as a reference to create a shape like this. Okay, I'll change it to blue as well so we can see it. And I will send it to the back. So again, we will need to make these anchor points smooth. So let's just uh, select them and then um, click on this uh, button. And then uh, you have these handles that you can work on. And you see that uh, on the these lower two handles, you need to uh, flip their handles to the other way. And then uh, you'll be able to have that uh, bending inward curve in the at the bottom of your calcium channel Some of it is protruding out so uh, i will uh, break the handle here with this uh, button and then uh, i can flip the other handle all the way upward then i will be able to hide the accessed parts now we have the inner part ready i will start to uh, decide a color for our calcium channel so uh, let me see, I will use this uh, magenta over here and I will pick a lighter one for the side. And then uh, for the inner part, uh, before we fill in the color, we have to unite these two shapes. Now the inner shape is ready. We can come here to grab the gradient tool and then uh, 
create a linear gradient. Uh, so just uh, click and drag uh, while holding control, then you can have a uh, vertical uh, gradient. Uh, just click on the color swatches while you have the uh, anchor points on the gradient handle selected, then uh, you will be able to create this gradient and the upper part uh, is lighter and the lower part is uh, darker so you'll get this feeling of the channel is going inward and uh, now I'll just quickly apply uh, the outline to uh, the channel and uh, I will come here to I will come here to select a gray and uh, this is the gray I use and then a uh, hold shift while you click on the swatch then you will be able to give it a line fill. Um, now we can turn the grids off and then I will uh, group everything. And so that's uh, our calcium channel. You see that I've drawn this new calcium channel a little bit wider than my example. That can happen uh, when you're drawing. Uh, but hey, there are different subtypes in the calcium channel. So this is how you draw a calcium channel in Inkscape. And if this helped your research, please give a thumbs up and also uh, subscribe to Draw Met if you'd like to see more of these scientific illustration videos. And I look forward to seeing you in the, in the future videos.